Hello luck friends, that Driver here. Welcome back to another PTCGO uh, deck tech and match. Um, I will say I'm currently streaming, so I will be saying hello to chat occasionally as they pop up. Um, but today we are going to go over the Tapu Fini GX deck I have in mind. Now you guys may have seen something like this before, but uh, this is kind of my take on it. It's like you see a lot of different things, um, but we have two Tapu Finis here. And we're also obviously throwing in the Waylord because why not? We didn't get a chance to do our Waylord video, so why not throw it in this one? So we got two Tapu Finis, a Waylord, Volcanion, all the good water type attackers. And then Cat's out of the bag. Quag's out of the bag. We got Quagsire, Naganadal as our energy thing. We got uh, Articuno in here to be able to get something out of the active if they don't get stuck. Tapu Lele, that wink one so that we are uh, utilizing that code to the full potential using the Tapu Fini, Tapu Lele from it, and then also Waylord from the previous week. 3-3, three, three, Poiple, and uh, Naganado. We even got two Mars Shadows in here. Now I like this inclusion because one, it's good against Zoroark, um, but two, it also allows you to utilize any of those attacks. And then we got a Ditto Prism Star to split between the Naganado and the Quagsire. Um, but it allows you to Shadow Hunt and use your Waylord's attack, your uh, Articuno's attack, your Tapu Fini's attack. So you can use almost everybody's attack uh, through that Mars Shadow if they're in the discard pile, which I kind of like a lot, especially the Waylord. Um, the only thing you can't really use is the, the Volcanian Prism Star, but it's just too good not to have in here. Which is why I decided to put it in here. Uh, we also have four Acro Bikes. Uh, for general draw support for aqua patches to get those waters back up on the field. Uh, I believe it's three nest balls, as I can see it. Uh, three nest balls to get out our basic Pokemon. Uh, two rescue stretchers, I believe. Yes, two rescue stretchers. Three uh, 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 switch rafts, that's what it's called. I was like, buoys. I was like, that's not what it's called, though. Four Ultra Ball, four Cynthia, three Guzma, and four Lilies. Really simple on the draw support. 4-4 four, four count, and then we're finishing it off with 10 water energies, and that is our list. It's going to ask me if I want to discard the saves. Yes, because I didn't change anything. So we're going to go ahead and take this to the versus ladder, and we're going to see what we can uh, what we can find on this primal Groudon versus ladder. Now, does it give you the regular Groudon too? It does not, but primal Groudon, wow. Uh, so we got to get through all these whales. To do this one there we go so we're gonna play some some ladder matches here with some quagsire naginatals with the whales in it so let's go ahead and uh see if we can face off against what is it pragmat pragmat he's pragmatic but without the matic he's not automatic you know yes i'll go first because i have stuff to get out and up don't forget your water bottles Oh, well, let's see. We got to start things off with eesh, the Ditto Prism. Ditto, come on, hold down the fort for us, Ditto. Ditto, you can do it. You're almighty. You got the you got the fisty cuffs. We can do this, Ditto. Let's not start the Lele. Um, this is where it's kind of unfortunate that I don't have like a quick something to grab real fast with it. But, uh, oh, actually, this is like a beautiful starting hand. Now, let's see. We have... We have a Poipul prize, obviously. We have a Wooper prize, obviously. And this thing's struggling to load. Come on, I want to see my cards. There we go. Uh, we got a Naganado prized as well. And we got both Tapu Finis prized, I believe. That's a little unfortunate. That we can't grab a Fini right away. Wow, this is not, not working for me there. We do have Fini, we do have Fini. Okay, so what I want to do probably is grab a Nagan, a Poipul here. And get those out first. It's just similar to a Malamar deck. You want to get your... Uh, your support out first. Um, I think I'm going to acro bike here. Go ahead and grab the Quagsire, which means that uh, either that's going into a Wooper or this is going into a Wooper. So that's good. Let's go ahead and grab the Wooper, I think. Yeah, I like that a little better. Yeah, I'd rather. It's harder to. It's harder to retreat the Quagsire. Than it is the uh, than it is the um, 
Naginatal, so I think that is the best option. We'll go ahead and throw the whale up here and uh, attach an energy to it, because why not? Um, we can keep digging here. Another nest ball. Is that better? Or is Guzma better? I feel like we always want to keep a Guzma. Because I have an Ultra Ball for the last basic, and I don't really need anything else right now. Um... Yeah, let's keep the Guzma. He's more useful later in the game. So we'll get rid of the Nest Ball. And I think we're going to stop there because we want to be able to get a couple Naginatals out and stuff. So let's go ahead and see what our opponent's going to do with his fire deck. It may be... Uh, they may go off this turn, they may not. This guy looks like he's relatively new because I haven't seen this card in a while. Which also means that uh, I have no no CP or whatever on the ladder. I have not played in so long that it's uh, that uh, it, it assumes I'm a new player now, even though I have a big collection. <clears throat> so we see Olivia. What's he gonna grab with that? I actually haven't seen that played turn one yet. So it's a bit of a grind on the ladder, and I haven't started the ladder, so we're seeing whatever we want. I figured we'd see a ho oh though. Fire deck box kind of threw that one out. Was like, oh, we're gonna see Ho Oh, which kind of sucks. Ho Oh's really good, but I feel like it's gonna it's gonna struggle once Zapdos is officially out, because Zapdos just demolishes Ho Oh's. Ho Oh's. So we see the Ho Oh come down. They already played uh, Olivia, so that we're not gonna see a Kiawe. Yeah, it would be nice for them, though. And they're going to hope I, they take damage here. So we're going to go ahead and evolve that right away. We're getting our whole draw engine here when it comes to acro bikes. Um, I feel like the switch option is a better play right now. And I do think we're going to ultra ball here for a, uh, a Naginato, though, though. Naginatal though. <clears throat> Sorry. We're gonna get rid of the Lily and Oof, honestly I don't know. I guess I'm gonna get rid of the Guzma. I hate to, I specifically picked it so I wouldn't have to get rid of it, but I still have to get rid of it. We're gonna go ahead and throw Naginatal on the Ditto up here. Because then we can um charge up a retreat. And then we're going to go ahead and Cynthia here. Double Aqua Patch. Wow. We have three energies in there. Let's see what else we can get here. Tapu Fini. Well, I mean, this is what I was going to show off. It was a Tapu Fini play here. So I guess I'm just going to show that off, actually. It's like an Ultra Ball. Ah, oh, that sucks. I don't have quite enough to do it. But I gotta keep the Cynthia for next turn. I gotta keep the Cynthia for next turn, otherwise I would totally just double Aqua Patch and attack with this this turn. But alas, that's not possible. So we'll charge up, throw an energy on that. Oh, I still got it, I still got it, I still got it, okay. Charge up on this. We're gonna go ahead and Aqua Patch onto Tapu Fini. We'll retreat and then wash out. Kind of sucks taking energy off Waylord, but it is what it is. I gotta press the washout again. There we go, we got the Feeny online. Now we can Hydro Shot here. And attack the hook. Oh. There we go. Now it has 120 damage on it. And we can continually do that. 
We can just 120 all over the bench here now. And avoid knocking out Tauros because it has a 2 retreat cost. So anything he throws down on the bench we can kind of knock out now with this. It just shows what I'm kind of going for. But I think what I'm going to try to do is... If he puts down something else I'm probably going to spread to that. I guess it gives them an option to max potion. But it also lets me set up, you know, towering splash maybe down the line. Hmm. So now we're just waiting. I know he has a ho oh in hand. He's mallowing, I guess. So put mm, Kiawe on top, maybe? Or a max potion? Something. We got the switch buoy. Do we need to switch buoy, though? That's the question here. Ah, uh, looks like he's making it easy for me, though. So I can just charge up here. I would switch buoy, but I don't think I want to here. I'm just gonna Cynthia here. Yeah, the most I could get is four energies anyway. So it's just better to go ahead and do it this way. Eh, I'm gonna knock out the active, I think. But yeah, this is basically how the deck's supposed to run. You can just hide your shot anything. We'll take out the Tauros here. For one prize. A Poipul. Now there's not really a point to put down the Poipul because we know that the other Naginata was actually in the prizes. So we don't quite need to put that down. Alright, so here's where I'm going to go ahead and swing into the one on the bench again. And there's that Kiawe. Now he can attack me next turn, that's for sure. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and charge up. We have three energies there, so we can actually get an extra energy on the Waylord here. Now I expect the other... I am trying to play three games, so we'll, play, we'll see if the other game it does not even run efficiently, because I, I half expect that. I can actually attack with Waylord here. It's like an Aqua Patch to the Waylord. Which I think is what I'm going to do next turn. This turn we're just going to wash out. And swing into the one on the bench. And then next turn, we, there's no reason not to be able to go in with Waylord. There we go. Swing in on that. Next turn we got one, two, three energies we can put on to Waylord. That's only six. So we don't quite have the eight that we need for Towering Splash. Uh, but I do expect Feeny to go down this turn. Ah, uh, not much they could do though. Um, I kind of figured that was going to happen. We got a mystery box of 25 coins and whatever that was. Okay, let's go ahead and go into another match and see if we can set up the same way. Um, I doubt it, but we'll see what happens. Awesome, another 25 coins can actually buy a pack but I think we're saving up for uh, team up we gotta save team up for the um, 
Team Deck Corner. Won the flip again. Who are we playing this time? Philomara. So shout out to Philomara for showing up. Facing off against us here in our Tapu Fini deck. Gonna start things off with Wooper this time. But I'm getting lucky on the opening hands. Lily. Go ahead and do this. Oof, Quagsire or Aqua Patch? I feel like Quagsire is more necessary. If that makes sense. Um Go ahead and Ultra Ball. Uh, I feel like I have to Aqua Patch the Aqua Patch and an Ultra Ball for a Poiple. We gotta get the Poiple down here. And then, because I want to keep this hand, I'm gonna Lily here. Go out on the other. Yeah, we might as well grab the Ditto. There we go, yeah, that looks right. That looks more correct. Ooh, Nest Ball or Water Energy? I'm gonna grab the Nest Ball. But then we go, I can... Everything in my hand, I can go ahead and play down. We're gonna start things off with the Feeny, because why not? It is a Feeny deck. And we'll throw this energy down here. And we're done, as long as they don't have um, a judge, we should be fine. Judge would screw us up. Other than that, I'd say we have a really strong start here. I mean, I obviously could have chose different things to throw away. Aqua patches are kind of very useful, but... I knew that he keeping a Cynthia for next turn is just too ideal. Because if I would have not kept the Cynthia, I would have evolved and had those two energies back, but then have an Aqua Patch I can't do anything with. So I'm stuck with this setup, and that's it. Wow, look at that. I actually have not seen anybody be using this. So we'll go ahead and pop these down. Go ahead and charge up. Charge up again. And we'll throw this on the Wooper and Cynthia. Okay, we got the other one of those. Um, we could Ultra Ball here, but we did not get the Switch Buoy, which is what I was kind of hoping for. So we're just going to retreat into Tapu Fini. Go ahead and wash out. And uh, the question is, should I throw up a, um, a retreater next for next turn? Should I go get something, a backup attacker now? I could. Oh, I can just rescue Stretch Rufini. I'm just trying to think. I'm definitely going to Hydro Shot the Lugia. That's the thing that's dangerous, is the Lugia, so... So, what could I pull off next turn? Two, four... I could pull off a Waylord next turn. If I draw both uh, Aqua Patches with Lily. As expected, switched into Lugia there. And what's the Lugia's attack? 170. So it's gonna just go for the one shot here. Yeah, it's just gonna go for the one shot here. Uh, 
I guess we have to go with this because it can charge itself up and retreat. Another Lily. So we could bring the Tapu Fini back. Looks like what we have to do. Otherwise we can also Ultra Ball here. Away a Lily and a Poiple. Let's see if there's anything else we want to use. Like more Shadow maybe. Could use Articuno as well. I think let's grab Articuno. Because then I don't have to uh, Quagsire. I can charge up here. Go ahead and throw Articuno down. Go ahead and switch it to the active, grab the energies off of it. Play the energy and then Lily for four cards. <laughs> and then it's telling me I should have put down the Poiple. I can go ahead and put down the Poiple. So I have a, a setup next turn. There we go, go ahead and Ice Wing. Take out the Lugia. Two prizes. Tapu Lele. Luckily we did not need to get to set up. And an Ultra Ball. Okay, so we're facing off against two Hound Doors now. Um, so we'll see what else they got going on here. But again, that worked out pretty well. We're going to get our last Naginato set up. So we have three energies every single turn now that we can call upon. If we have three energies in the discard, that is. Um, this next turn we can... Our bench is full, so there's not much we can do about that. Other than that, we could probably search out something, but it looks like they're going to take out something here. No, they're just going to... That doesn't work. I don't know if they know don't know that they can't stall that out. This deck's like specifically designed to not stall out like that. Oh, that's right, I only have two energies though. Uh, that sucks a little bit, but we do have a backup for it. This is probably going to be a... Uh... And this is a great hand. Normally I would say don't touch anything. Unless you want to go grab your other Quagsire. But I'm just going to Cynthia. Just to see what else pops up. And Quagsire pops up. Wow. And an energy. I might just throw that on the Quagsire. Now I could attack with Quagsire. But we're going to go ahead and Arcuno GX it up here. Because this is just a sweet looking card. Might as well use it. We'll take out the Houndor. Get the Vault Prism. That's nice. That's very useful actually. So we can play this. Uh, they knock out something which is not likely. Yeah. Looks like Articuno is just going to be... Uh, <laughs> Gusting away some uh, some hound towers right now. I guess he's hoping to pull the doom there. I guess he's hoping to play hound doom there. Ah, uh, my connection's struggling, so I don't know if it's it's not showing me what he's grabbing. Ah, the Lugia back, okay. Experience share on the Lugia, okay. Guess it's pretty definite that that's the only one, only way he's coming back from this.
Okay, we got an Ultra Ball, we got an Energy. I got everything we really need here. I could probably switch Bowie if I wanted to. But I think I'm just fine. I just want to Ice Wing. They're going to eventually take out this Articuno. Which doesn't hinder me too much. It allows me to get all three energies back. And there's a more shadow. Uh, we're just going to take 190 to knock out Lugia. And it's Electric Week. 190. What does uh, Quagsire do here? 60. So I have to hit 130. 140. So I'm going to need seven water energies on him. We have seven on the field and we have access to get those three back so quagsire can actually take the lugia out for the fat last two prizes here but i don't know if it's going to come to that actually i mean it's going to come to that but it's uh i don't know if there's if they have enough energy to be able to play on it i'm still playing expanded i just realized so my next match i need to switch over to standard that could also be the reason I'm not seeing stuff. So this is rolling pretty well for a standard deck in an expanded uh, play here. Skyline of Fire Energy. We get a Switch Raft. Um, if I had bench space, I could totally do something here, but I don't. So we'll just finish this as expected. They need two energies though. Psychic's not gonna do much. Acro bike. But yeah, seeing that playing that Cynthia was just terrible. I could have finished this off already if I didn't play the Cynthia. For no reason. You're gonna Skyla. Uh, they already attached the turn energy for turn. Now I could take out the Entei here too. Ah, uh, that's where majority of their deck is from, is from the Entei theme deck, okay. I was wondering why I saw like three Hound Hours. I don't know. Oh, Lost Purge. It just gets rid of those energies altogether. Okay. Um. I still think my best bet is Quagsire here. I could throw up Volcanion here. Yeah, the problem is I lose the three energies. That's a bigger problem than uh, anything else. Take the Waylord. Do I have five energies? One, two, three, four. Well, it's a good thing he used that on that. I didn't take any prizes with that. Throw out the Waylord. And wash out. Go ahead and throw this one up. Alright, so we're we're going it now. We're gonna go ahead and hit him with Waylord. Unfortunately we don't really have any tools. That would have made this easy. But uh it is what it is. Out. There we go, we got the five energies on him. And we're going to Super Splash.
Now they're gonna try to hit me for the Pelolytic Blade for 170. Actually, Psychic probably does more now, doesn't it? 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, plus 30. So it's 30 damage plus 150. Does 180. Yeah, so they're just gonna Psychic, most likely. But I don't have enough energy on me for it to be detrimental. Whatever you bring out, I... okay. That works. It's like this deck's designed not to care if Quagsire goes in the active. <laughs> Guy hasn't figured that out yet though. Unless he's knocking out the Quagsire. Yeah, I was like, that's not going to knock out the Quagsire, though. I mean, if you had another energy, maybe, but... I'm just gonna do it this way. There's no reason. Oh, it gets seated right when I... Sure. Alright, so... There's two matches with this deck. I'm gonna try one more here. I'm gonna roll one more here, I should say. But we're gonna change from expanded to standard, because I just realized that uh, that would be why the games are being a little weird there. There we go, we'll go back to standard. Apparently we're playing some Zora Ignore bring stuff before. Oh man, we're deep, we're deep into the thing. There it is, Quagnagger Lord. So there we go, we got to see Wei Lord in action that time. Not quite the towering splash, but that is fine. We got a win streak of two and we have the advantage. They got the other Tapu box. We got the Tapu Fini box. They got the Tapu Lele box. So you got the Tapu Lele coin. So I should have changed this to the Fini coin, actually. Ooh, Mulligan. We're starting things off with a Mulligan. Facing off against Fairy, so I'm guessing we're gonna see Grand Bull. What's up, Razion? How are you doing today? Thanks for stopping by. So you're catching the tail end of our uh, our video that's going to go up. We're, we're currently filming our uh, Tapu Fini video. We got Mulligan 1. We got to start with a Poiple here. And I'm going to say it's a pretty decent starting hand because we can Ultra Ball away stuff that so that we can get a big, big Lily. Guardy Nine Tails is still scary. It is actually Guard of Guard of War Nine Tails is is very scary. It gives you everything you need to get started. We're gonna throw Fini in the discard pile here. Um, let's go ahead and Ultra Ball away the water in the Guzma. We need to have our Quagsire available. Yeah, Quagsire. Yeah, it's actually made its way to be just a standard deck. I was looking at a video earlier where they're just... I'm gonna go ahead and waste one of these. Uh, where they're talking about it as, as one of the decks to watch out for. And I'm like, I guess that was not really even a thing a while ago. But, I mean, it's, it's, it's gotten itself to the point where it's... Uh, it's a standard deck you gotta watch out for. It's the... Ooh, I guess I'm gonna get rid of the Nest Ball. Um, and people are loving it. I actually... I'm becoming a bigger and bigger fan of the Meganium Swamper... Um, yeah, Meganium Swamper uh, Greninja. That just deck, that deck looks fun to me. Like, I wish I could... Uh, 
I wish I could just sit down and actually just build it out. I've just been very busy. Ah, Tanunsky started hosting me. That's nice. I didn't know it gives you that. Slick. You haven't seen the Mega Mega Swap Ninja? That's, that's literally the, the shorthand for it, and I think that's why I like it. It's Mega Swamp Ninja. So it's it's really it's really funny um, to see it uh, play out too. Um, I bet if you just searched it up, uh, you could probably search Mega Swamp Ninja. It's a Meganium Swamper a Greninja deck, and he has plays the uh, the Super Boost energy, and that's the only energy it plays. So the, the deal of the deck is you get Meganiums out, and they evolve all your Stage Twos, and then you can um, kind of. Um, recycle your Greninjas so you you get out your, your after you get out your Meganium uh, or I think you get out two Meganiums and a Swampert <clears throat> that allows you to kind of turn through your deck with that with Looker and uh, you end up getting out your Greninja every turn it spreads 30 damage and hits for 110 and goes back into the deck so it's really really funny to see it play out uh, what was I doing here I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on Marsh Shadow here since we have a Tapu Fini down here, and we're in a Cynthia because I need my evolutions here. I need to find a Naganadal. And we find Quagsire. Uh, it's not too hindering though, because I can throw this up here and throw down the Articuno here. Go ahead and switch into the active, grab the energy off all three here and then I have it set up where I have two two Dagonadals once they come out of the deck there so this deck has been a lot of fun actually to play as well uh, I like it because you spread damage with Tapu Fini and then if you can get enough energy on Waylord you can just spread for the win but uh, it hasn't come to that yet it hasn't come to that yet uh, Waylord's just been about a, a big powerhouse to finish on that they that's hard to knock out. We're facing a mill tank deck here. That's a lot of fun. Milk cannon. So they're getting their uh I feel like that would need a, a different engine than what's being played though. And then they play Comfy to make it not affected by confusion and that stuff because it has a expensive retreat cost. Wow, Lele hit me hard there. Okay, we have the ability to attack with anything we want right now. But the ability to hit for 170 is something we do not possess. We can hit for 120. But I don't think we can hit for 170 here. We can go ahead and go get the Naganado. Yeah, we can grab the Naganado. Uh, kind of wish we could get Waylord out or in discard. But I don't think we can. That gives us a... F doesn't give us a fourth energy. It does if we retreat. It gives us one of our energies back if we retreat. Um, I think what's best here is to... Is to switch buoy and put the Volcanion up there. That seems like it's the best option here. I forgot it healed. I honestly didn't remember that it healed that. Uh, let's go ahead and just... Wash out get all these energies onto Volcanion. Since it has just about as much HP as Articuno. And we're gonna Sauna Blast. Okay. Uh, yeah, what was I watching earlier? I was watching like a video on the new Aerodactyl, because that was intriguing to me, was uh, what the new Aerodactyl did. And 
on their board at the end of uh, relevant decks. Uh, Guardy Ninetales Swampert was on there as one of the main relevant decks. Alright, let's see, we got the... We got the Lele on the run here. Lily, what a perfect card to draw right now. Considering we don't have much going down here. We got two of those. We can switch wrapped again. Just for for lols here. We could switch wrapped again and protect our Volcanion. That sounds like something that's probably worth it to do. Yeah, we'll switch wrapped again. Not I'm not showing off the uh, anything that I'm supposed to though. Oh, I probably should have put in the um, the Mars Shadow actually. That would have been the play because that would have uh, allowed me to use Tapu Fini's attack, which is one of the things that I wanted to show off in this deck. But I can do it next turn here. And we'll Ice Ring for the knockout on the Lele. That's two prizes. We got three more to take. We got two damaged mill tanks on the bench. So we're, we're almost done with this. <laughs> it play this deck plays four lilies, so it's it's a really really simple line. It's four Cynthia's, four lilies, so you make sure you have that. Look at this, three Moomoo Moo milks in their hands. Doing a whopping 180 damage here to me. So I'm just going to throw up the Mars Shadow. Oh wow, so if they get a... Uh, I can get all those energies back, that's nice. Uh, but they can knock out anything now. So it might have been a bad idea to throw Mars Shadow up there. Hmm. I'm do that. Go ahead and charge up here. Get these two energies back. And that gives me four total energies. Three if I have to retreat my shadow though. Well they have the cards in their hand. Go ahead and nest ball. What's useful here? Should probably just bust out the Waylord. Unless I want a Point Bowl here. Ditto gives me the option for either or though. Hmm. Waylord's good next turn. But not this turn. Alright, let's go ahead and wash out here. Oh, I see what I should have did. I see what I should have did. Okay. So I should probably use Naganadal this turn. Turning point knocks this out and still allows me to function next turn. Um... So that's probably what I need to do. Or actually, yeah, I need to Naganadal this turn. Ooh, I could Aqua Ring, actually. That doesn't knock him out, though. That is 20 damage in retreats. That gives him another knockout. Uh, yeah, I need to stop debating it. I just need to go into uh, Naganadal there, wash out. Since I have the three prizes, might as well go ahead and do that. Not let them take a, uh, a GX knockout here. Because then I can try to dig for it again. Yeah, there we go there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remind me that if I lent, if I throw a GX out there, Miltank will knock it out. Yes, thank you. Thanks for that reminder. 
I mean, it sucks to see three energies go down when a lot of my aqua patches are gone too. But uh, we'll just have to dig for it. Um, yeah, I don't foresee something else coming out here. So I'm just going to knock out Miltank with more shadow this time. Go ahead and charge up. That only gives me two energies though. I almost need an aqua patch to be able to pull this off. Cause I have another energy down here, right? Yeah, three energies down there. Um let's attach that there. Question is Ultra Ball or Rescue Stretcher. We're gonna go ahead and rescue stretcher, shuffle back in the Mars Shadow and the Naginated line. So that's our attackers right now. And Lily or Cynthia? Well, I could just get rid of the Cynthia and then Lily. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. And hope I get some draw support next turn. This way we can set up Poipal here. I could set up Ditto, and then we'll see what we draw. No, I don't have another Quag. It's in the prizes. There we go, so we got the Poipal out. We'll get another Naginate on next turn. And Lily. <laughs> For the Ditto, of course. Um, Is there a way to knock this out? I gotta hit it for 60. Is there something I can hit for 60 with here? Doesn't look like it. Oof, that's tough. Uh, unfortunately, I need to get the Aqua Patch. But I can rescue stretcher that next turn. So, we got the Aqua Patch here. Nice supplemental. Um, yeah. Gonna wash out. There we go. Now we can attack with anything. There we go. So th that's the way this deck's supposed to run. Now there's too many choices. Um, unfortunately, it does not hit enough. And I don't feel like discarding the energies. So we'll just knock it out that way. There's more than one way to do things, I guess, it seems. <laughs> There's the Wooper. Um, ditto came out regardless. And now we just got the alone Eevee in front of us. Oh, never mind. Alone Sylveon in front of us. Um, before we can uh, win this. And now they're going to grab everything they need with Magical Ribbon. Alright. Not bad finish here. Um, question is, what's the best way to take out Sylveon? <laughs> I don't have a metal type that hits for that number. I do have... One, two, three, four... Five energies, though. So I can hit for 180. Hmm. It's actually only going to be four energies. No, five. I got one in my hand. So this is where uh, there's a, an argument for a uh, choice ban in this deck. It doesn't have one. And this is where it needs one. Oh, I sacrificed the... I think I sacrificed the um, Volcanion here. Tapu Fini. So I can hit this with the Feeny attack, but that's not going to help me. Um, so our first step here, obviously, is to grab the Naginatal here. Which means that Quagsire, if it gets knocked out, we're no more Quagsire. Go ahead and charge up here. I was like, do I have an Aqua Patch? No, I don't. Ah, you know what? I know what I do.
I just get ready for next turn. Because I can't knock it out this turn. I might as well just hold stuff for next turn. Best move here is to Aqua Ring. This way I try to get as many energies on the board as possible. And then save the Marsh Shadow from anything. Now they may actually still have a Crushing Hammer here. But having the energy in hand allows me to uh, kind of tank this hit or whatever they're going to try to do right here. Mina, that's a beautiful card. It's a beautiful card. Hawker, <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> there, I got to show off everything, I think. In this final, we got the Marshadow plays there. We got the Feeny plays by itself. We got the Articuno playing out there. Um, this deck actually came together pretty well. So I will show the list one more time. Once we're done with this matchup. Oh, look at them. They're trying to take a... They're taking the, the Sylveon away from me. Nice play though. Mina and DCE there for the win. Or for the damage, I should say. Um... How many energies can I get on this? Now I'm intrigued. How many energies can I get on this? Uh, Scythia, because nothing is playable in our hand, just to see what else is possible. Yeah, nothing else is possible. We just... We just wash out here. For the game. Wow, we almost had enough energy to... I don't know, retreat even. And Super Splash! 480 damage. They didn't want to give me the Sylveon. So that's good, that's good. So there we go, we got the, the Waylord taking the last thing. We never got to see a Towering Splash, but... It was possible on that last turn to get a Towering Splash. There's just no reason to. Alright, let's look at the deck one more time. After it gives me the coins, I think. Tickets. No coins. coins okay. That's good, that's working on that savings for the, uh... For the theme decks corner coming up. So here we are, we're gonna look at this deck one more time and then we'll finish up the YouTube video. There we go. So we got Ditto, a couple Marsh Shadows, 3 3, a Naganatal Purple, a Lele, uh, Articuno, which showed its stripes there, Artic uh, Magikarp, Waylord, Tag Team, two Feenies, because it's a Feeny deck, um, Vault Prism, 2 2 line of Quagsire, um, four uh, Acrobikes, four uh, Aqua Patches, three Nest Balls, two Stretchers, three Buoys. Buoys, yeah. Three switch rafts, buoys, but four ultra balls, four Cynthia, four Lily, three Guzmas, and a 10 energy count. So there we go. That is the deck. Um, it'll be down in the description. Uh, this has been Dapper Drabby. I'll bid you guys Alola, and hope to see you guys in a another.